Imagine this, you finally get the smartphone of your dreams. And you bring it home and you start playing games, taking videos, making calls and telling everyone about your new phone. And then your phone starts overheating and that's when you realize you made a huge mistake and you should have checked if the phone you're buying overheats or not. Well, we did the checking for you. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bwom.com and today we are putting one, two, three, four, six of the most popular smartphones today through the ultimate smartphone heating test. Before we get on with the heat, I'd suggest you to heat, hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Also, this video has been brought to you by Minimal Cases, which brings some great minimal smartphone cases with no branding. I'll talk about Minimal Cases at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Now then, let's get on with the heat. Test. So what are the phones we are putting to test? Well, as I mentioned, we are going with the six most popular phones today. The iPhone 10, the Pixel 2 XL, the Galaxy S9 Plus, the OnePlus 5T, the Mi Mix 2 and the Redmi Note 5 Pro. We put these phones to test under different scenarios and check their temperatures using an infrared thermometer. Yes, this thing right here. Also, the phones look like they are floating in the air, right? Well, we put all the phones on Jenga blocks so the heat does not dissipate to the surface. So let's begin with the tests. First off, we did some indoor tests. Starting off with a calling test because a lot of us have noticed that smartphones do get warm when you're on long call. So we made a 30 minute long call from each of these smartphones. So let's check out the results. The iPhone 10 is at 36 degrees. The Pixel 2 XL 2 is at 36 degrees. The S9 Plus is lower at 33 degrees. The OnePlus 5T is at 33 degrees. The Mi Mix 2 is a degree higher at 34 degrees. And the Note 5 Pro is at 33 degrees Celsius. As you can see, all the phones are pretty much in the same ballpark. I mean, the iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 did go up to 36 degrees, but they're still within what I would call normal range. Next up, let's get to the video recording test because, well, intensive use of cameras does tend to heat up the phones. So we made a 10 minute 4K video from all of these phones. The Redmi Note 5 Pro only shoots at 1080p. I mean, Xiaomi did promise to bring 4K recording to the Note 5 Pro, but that hasn't happened. So this is the max we can shoot at. Also, the S9 Plus has a five minute limit while shooting 4K at 60 FPS. So we just, you know, press the record button again after five minutes. Well, let's check their temperatures. The iPhone 10 here is hot, like literally hot. Yes, it's at 49 degrees. Let's check if the Pixel 2 XL is any better. Well, not really, it's at 51 degrees. That is hot. Anyways, the S9 Plus fares better with a temperature of 44 degrees. The OnePlus 5T 2 is fairly decent at 41 degrees. And the same goes for the Mix 2, which is at 41 degrees. The Note 5 Pro is at 39 degrees, but it's shooting at 1080p, so let's not compare it with others. Well, it's pretty clear that video recording does get the phones hot. I mean, the temperatures on the iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 XL were at 49 degrees and 51 degrees. I mean, that is hot and not in a good way. Well, it's safe to say that the iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 XL do not excel at the video recording test. Anyways, after this, we went on to play some games on all of these smartphones. Don't worry, we gave them time to cool off after every test. So we got six of the best PUBG players in our office. Well, I'm not one of these players because, you know, I am better than the best. So these guys played PUBG on these phones for 30 minutes. Now let's check the temperature values after the gameplay. The iPhone 10 is at 40 degrees, which is warm, but I'd say fine. The Pixel 2 XL 2 is at 40 degrees. The S9 Plus is at 36 degrees, which is really good. The OnePlus 5T is at 37 degrees, which is fine too. The Mi Mix 2 is the hottest of them all in the gaming test as it goes to 41 degrees. And the Note 5 Pro is fine at 40 degrees. I guess it's pretty clear that all of these phones handle gaming pretty well without overheating things. 
The Mi Mix 2 does go to 41 degrees, which is warm, but not really alarming. Let's move on to our next indoor test, that is charging. All the phones here are drained to low battery and all the phones were connected to fast chargers, including the iPhone 10. Yeah. Well, after 30 minutes of charging these phones, this is what the temperatures look like. The iPhone 10 here is pretty warm at 40 degrees. But the temperature of Pixel 2 XL for the first time isn't similar to the iPhone 10s. It's at 34 degrees, which is pretty good. The S9 Plus is at 37 degrees Celsius. The 5T is at 36 degrees. The Mi Mix 2 is at 38 degrees and the Note 5 Pro is at 37 degrees. So basically, they're all fine. I mean, it's pretty evident that none of these phones have any overheating problems when it comes to charging, which is awesome. So the indoor tests are done and they show us that apart from video recording where the iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 XL totally overheated, which is definitely not cool, for the most part, none of these phones overheat in most situations, which is definitely cool. You know what, common sense suggests that when you're using a smartphone outside, it's going to get more warmer when compared to using your smartphone inside. So we did some outdoor tests. First, we did the calling test. Again, we made 30 minutes of calls from each of these phones. And here are the temperatures. The iPhone 10 measures in at 37 degrees Celsius, which I think is good enough. The Pixel 2 XL goes up to 39 degrees, which too is fine. The S9 Plus is at 36 degrees, which is pretty good. The OnePlus 5T also measures at 36 degrees. Again, this temperature is fine. The Mi Mix 2 gets fairly warm at 40 degrees, and the Redmi Note 5 Pro's temperature is decent at 38 degrees. So, as you can see, all of these phones do heat up more in outdoor calling when compared to indoor calling. I mean, the Mi Mix 2 gets really hot, but it's still not overheating. And all of these other phones, I think they're pretty cool when it comes to outdoor calling. Let's move on to our last test, and that is the video recording test. The indoor video recording test resulted in iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 XL getting pretty hot. So let's see if they can keep their cool this time. Well, the iPhone 10 here is at 48.3 degrees. So again, it gets pretty hot when you're recording videos. Is the Pixel 2 XL any better? No, it's at 51 degrees and again, that is hot. It's pretty clear by now that the video recording ups the temperature on these phones. Moving on to the S9 Plus, the temperature on the Samsung flagship is at 45 degrees and that's hot too, but it's certainly better than the Pixel 2 XL and the iPhone 10. The OnePlus 5T is at 44 degrees. The Mi Mix 2 is considerably hot as well with its temperature at 46 degrees. And even the Note 5 Pro heats up this time, measuring in at 43 degrees. And that is when it shoots at 1080p. So yes, the iPhone 10 and Pixel 2 XL definitely overheat while recording videos. The Mi Mix 2, S9 Plus and OnePlus 5T heat up too, but they're definitely better. And the Note 5 Pro, well, I won't dare to shoot 4K videos outdoors from the Xiaomi phone even if Xiaomi does bring 4K capabilities. Well, those are all our tests and things are pretty clear. The OnePlus 5T performs the best out of the lot here. It maintains its cool in almost all the tests. The S9 Plus also performs really well. And so does the Redmi Note 5 Pro. The Mi Mix 2 does get warmer than the others, but I'd say it does well. Then there's the iPhone 10 and Pixel 2 XL, which surprisingly heat up the most, especially in the video recording test. Honestly, I was expecting the Note 5 Pro to heat up the most because that's a budget phone. But well, the Pixel 2 XL and iPhone 10 sprung up an unpleasant surprise. Having said that, one thing's pretty clear, and it's that unlike phones from the past, the current crop of smartphones don't necessarily overheat. Apart from video recording, none of these phones got uncomfortably hot. Sure, they do get warm, but as I said, almost all the smartphones do get a little warm. So I think that's cool. Talking about cool things, Minimal Case sells smartphone cases for almost every major smartphone out there. The cases are unbelievably thin at just 0.35 mm and are available in cool different colors. Take a look at this Galaxy S9 Plus case for example, it's thin and it'll definitely ensure that the beautiful glass back on the S9 Plus remains beautiful. Minimal case offers worldwide shipping and you get a flat 20% discount if you use this code. 
So check out minimal cases from the link in the description below. Well, that was our ultimate smartphone heating test. Which ultimate smartphone test do you guys want us to do next? Tell us in the comment section below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.